What's up, it's Darren Rose here with 98.7 FM at the Pure Volume House, presented by iHeartRadio with one of our favorites, the Dead Sarah Gang. <laughs> What's up, guys? Very hey. much. Thanks for coming by. I know you guys have a tight schedule. You're in high demand here at South By. What, uh, how's it going so far? You guys have had, I know you had shows even this morning, like early on. That's right, yeah. acoustic shows. Yeah. Interviews with radio stations. And have you gotten, have you taken advantage of any of the free swag at South By? Have you guys gotten any of the goodies? What, what have you gotten hooked up with? Fry boots. Fry, we got some boots, we got some shoes from Vans and Converse, I think, and um, some kind of, uh, what is that one, um, the, the uh, sound system from that company, what is it? Sounds what is it called? Sounds, no, Soundscape? No, that's not right. Sonic Biz? Sonos? Is it a, like a player? Like a... It's like a whole system they set up in your house where you can stream like Wi-Fi, like any, like anything oh, cool. like in your house. Rad. See, the benefits of being a talented <laughs> artist is you get that stuff. We do not get that. Oh. Unfortunately. Well, Julia yeah. set it up. Oh. Did she? <laughs> yeah. Well, she introduced me to them. Oh well, we see. Like I said, I don't. I don't get privy to that information. Uh, ton of shows. Are you able to get out and see any music? I know we were just talking about Jack White, Eminem, but yeah. who else are you guys trying to see while you're here? I really want to see Tribes. They were here earlier. They did a great uh, strip down thing. Man, for us. cool guys too. I want to see my friend's band, Magic Wands. Where are they from? Uh, Los Angeles. LA? Yeah. A lot of LA bands here. Yeah. Great LA showing. Yeah. Fans right. here. Yeah. It's going to be cool. What about you guys? Any other bands that you're... You're sure. Yeah, Nico, Nico Vega. Vega. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's tonight at 9. Yeah, speaking of... Yeah. Oh, I got I to gotta show this. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> the, de the Dead Sarah shirt with the uh, Go For The Kill on the back. Pretty sick. Are these on your website? No, those are exclusive through Kill City. Well, Kill City Jeans. Exclusive <laughs> tea, exclusive tea. Special. Uh, you, get, you get perks? There's yeah, perks. Yeah, there's perks. No, no, of stuff. course. So let's talk about the record coming out April 10th. 10th. Uh, Self-titled? Yep. yep. Is that, okay, how many tracks? 11. 11 tracks. What's the Dead Sarah creative process? How does, what's the conception of a song for you guys? We get in a room and we jam. Yeah. Pretty much <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. with like a riff or something. Yeah. yeah. And you just let it run and then go back and listen, yeah. or is it? Yeah, yep. much. It's usually like, you know, like between 20 seven <laughs> and 20 minutes of jamming, and then we're like, oh, that part was cool, that was part cool, and then kind of create a skeleton. That's the main gist of the, the record that you hear. Yeah. Okay. That's what we did. And then when do the lyrics come in? Same time, like when everybody's jamming, I just sit there and... Start to flow and... Yeah. The melody comes and it starts to change the pattern, just like any in instrument. Somebody starts changing a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, it goes into different directions and stuff like that, and then... Again, it's like 19 minutes long, and yeah. then we shorten it down. <laughs> it's like the doors, like the end. Yeah. 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 In a Gata De Vida. Yeah. Uh, Emily, when did you, you have this amazing voice with all sorts of range and just incredibleness. When did you first discover that you had that talent? Your voice. Were you singing as it a young It wasn't overnight. No, I mean, I, I never wanted, I was never like, I'm going to be a singer when I grow up. I was more of a guitar player. A songwriter and it wasn't until I couldn't find that voice I wanted in the band mm. and then I decided you know what the only person that could hear it is me and I'm, I'm the one that has to be responsible for that so I had to basically go ahead and you know t it took me years to, to, to figure it out mm -hmm. you know it wasn't like I woke up in the morning and I knew how to fucking sing excuse right. the language but like it took me years to like lessons or just no by myself. just on your own guitar mm -hmm. Singing, writing. And guitar, self-taught as well? Yes. Emily? I'm uh, sorry, Susie? Susie? Yeah, self-taught. Self-taught? Are yeah. you guys all self-taught musicians as well? I, I am, yes. I probably I have like two years of music school, so I'm like the, that, that guy in the band. Yeah, that's right. You gotta have one <laughs> of those great. in the band. So good. I'm the nerd. <laughs> yeah. uh, Susie, you absolutely shred, just tear apart the guitar. How did you, did you just pick it up? What, what inspired you at what point to pick up the guitar? Actually, the, the, the band Magic Wands, the singer in it, mm -hmm. the girl, was my nanny, and she was a musician and played in rock bands and everything, and she oh. used to bring her guitar to my house when she would nanny me, and she's what, what pretty much got me into music, and then I just started. So you, and you picked it up pretty easy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What did you, what was your first riff? What was your, for the first thing you learned to play? Um, Horse With No Name. Really? That was the first two two chords, and then and there, there were some Nirvana songs and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. What are they? What are they? Deep Purple. 
Really? I remember that, yeah. Smoke on the wall. Blam, 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 blam,